Um, Wally is our first testifier. Um, appreciate the opportunity to come here and talk to you guys today. Sitting on the other side of the table, so kind of different, different feeling. But I'm here to um, mahalo you for your hard work. Um, during this last legislative session, we experienced um, a lot of confrontation from East Hawaii, so I wanted to explain that to you guys. I'm no longer the chairman, only the like commissioner of East Hawaii, but it all ties in together. With the lack of leadership from the department, it's time to make a change. That was the whole intent. We have to change the leadership. Change the commissioner, change the chairman, change. It's about change. So that's what it was. Forgive me if I hurt anyone's feeling, but I'm going to speak what my heart tells me to speak. So that's, that's the whole intent. You guys seen a lot of um, discontentment going through the ledge, a lot of negative testimony of what is faced from East Hawaii. The failure from the department to execute plans already in place is one of the biggest, biggest thing. <clears throat> Still, plans that was here from 1983 in our cold district is still untaken care of yet. There's a lot of things out there that has never been addressed. I was under the false impression that being a commissioner, you can make one big change for the betterment of our people. Sad to say I was wrong. And now is the time to move forward. So we, we stuck with what we have today as the leadership. So I challenge Isla and Joby again to make the right choices for the people. We have to focus on what the people is saying. So my advice to the commission is take a little bit time today to learn of the issues that face East Hawaii, that face Moko Okeave. It's issues that should have been addressed many years ago. It just festered to the point of too much pain and suffering is going on in our community. From the drug use to the lack of Housing, homelessness is all part of this. So today we had a lot of hot issues that affect um, Aina Mauna. So we need to talk about the Aina Mauna plan. I don't know why we get legislators out there, people in charge who fail to recognize the need, to fail to recognize what the intent of the Hawaiian Commission's Act is. 50 years, or oh, going on 100 years now, we had the act in place. And we have legislators right now who do not understand that this state was predicated on enforcing the rights and benefits of the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. They fail to recognize that it's their kuleana as elected officials to carry on the mandate of our Prince Kuyil. That's what it's all about, and that's where we fail. And we have people in office that no belong there because they passed the buck on everything. So now it's time to listen to the Manao, the feelings of our people. We are suffering out there. I don't a cattle contract is just a small little example of what's going on. How can they tell us that once we get into the procurement process, they got to be from this island? How can that be? Once you get into the procurement process, you have to allow the process to exhaust itself. So we come up to a <coughs> satisfactory selection. We had concerns of the month-to-month -month renewal of the old cattle contract. We had to vent and inform the community of how the bidding process was going to take place. So the department came up with the right criterias in order to select a cattle contract that is the best available to our people. How the department benefits, how our people benefit, that was the key. We came up with the criterias. Now, for the department try and vote that out in, in February back on Oahu was one big problem. We always wanted issues on this island to be heard on this island. So now we're here today 
and I hope the commission take the time to hear what's going on. But legislator cannot determine to us how we select if we come from this island or that island. We already have KIA on Maui. We already have big island-based companies doing business on other islands. So why can't we be inclusive, not exclusive? When we wanted to get in and get the Ainomano Legacy Program for East Hawaii, we were shut down all the way until today. We still never get access to that place. 30-day right of entry to, ex to uh, um, establish our permits never did happen. So we were des destined to fail. Under the East Hawaii commitment to Aina Mauna, we would have home rule. We would have our people running the program there. So now, that's where we're at. We into the procurement process, let the process exhaust itself. How can we get our people economic rehabilitation when we have non-Hawaiians using our land and we stymie our people from getting on the land and do their work? Thank you. To be able to make money for their families, to have the economic opportunity that our people deserve and the act calls for and the Ainomauna plan calls for. That's what we are about, rehabilitation and economic development for our people, which we have failed miserably. So I apologize, Kalamai, to my people that I have failed you as a commissioner. So we got to move forward. We got to move and take this fight to the next level. You look at the water down in Kau, one million dollars. Thank you for one million dollars, one and a half million dollars for the water. That was an old project from 1983. We have no access to Discovery Harbors yet. We have no access to our ag lots. We have no access to our ranching. Because no more water. We get the pipes, we get the meters, not a drop of water. The million dollars not going to even put on five gallon bucket inside there. And again, the heaven going on with our kupuna, the EVs down at Kalai. Polyhamo, years and years we only talk without doing action. So I challenge you, Isla, to come up now as chair. And take these initiatives here on the Big Island that you guys are going here today and take it to heart and move the process forward. We're tired of waiting. We're tired of dying on the list and getting nothing. So, Kalamai, if I have hurt anyone's feelings, but it's never the intent, we are always here to unify, not to divide. It's about economic rehabilitation for our people. And that's where we stand. So please, commissioners, take the time, ask the questions to learn of why it was such a problemsome legislative session we had this, this time. So that's the issue with the, with the cattle contract. We um, let the people talk on the, on the other issues. But well, that's my manao for, for here and now. And I want to thank you guys for hearing my people out today. Mahalo nui.